Hi guys, I have a handbag showcase here for you and this is from this uh, Ted Lapidus brand, um, Ted Lapidus Paris. Um, Ted Lapidus um, was a uh, very famous designer, but I'm not sure if um, the handbags um, were well received as uh, the other luxury uh, brand counterparts like Louis Vuitton. So. Um, this is not as popular as those um, uh, Louis Vuittons, Gucci's, and Fendi's, uh, other brands. However, when it comes to quality, I'm telling you, um, guys, um, this is um, the most, I would say, indestructible and well, well, it's beautifully crafted, it's quality um, handbag. And... Um, this is unmistakably, you know, Ted Lapidus. Every time I see that um, material, um, the brown material that's uh, that embossed with TL, it's um, it's just, you know, unmistakably Ted Lapidus. And it's just so yummy looking, it looks like chocolate. So my first introduction to this uh, Ted Lapidus bag was when I was in college, my cousin um, who went to La Roche, uh, school in um, Switzerland brought home a Ted Lapidus um, crossbody but it was round and I've used that every single day for five or seven years and I was very much in awe at that time because it never showed any any scuffing or anything because as I'm telling you that material the thick red I mean dark brown chocolate um, coated uh, canvas. I'm not even sure if it's coated canvas, but there's a, a slight sheen to the material. It's just so super thick that nothing you can do can damage it. The wear and tear will absolutely show on the straps and um, the pipings and uh, that's all. But other than that, it's a very, very long lasting handbag. These handbags are um, they were they were in the 80s and look at them they still look good as new except for some you know a little bit of scuffs uh, here and there but um all in all they're really really um, nice now let's uh look look at the um this is the smallest one this is square one is flat and um this is a crossbody bag detachable straps and that's the uh plaque and the inner lining is just, you know, uh, plain. Um, yeah, just plain, whatever. Then there's a Ted Lapidus thing here. And yeah, magnetic uh, closure, snap closure. There you go. Next is this. Um, this is a large, I would say medium to large bag. And um, this one has like a, a, a Dooney and Burke. <laughs> um closure look at that so that's a whole lot of pocket in front and the back is just plain and uh, there are no feet studs um that lapidus website is still there guys and um they have a uh, fresh handbags i would say uh handbags but um, they're not as nice as, what I would say is that they do have some um, a material like this, but um, I would say, I saw one in yellow, I mean with yellow um, leather, and um, yeah, I, I wanna buy that, but we'll see. But, uh, but these 80s bags, guys, are just uh, like, you can have them for a steal <laughs> um, online. There you go, Ted Lapidus. There you go, made in France. And the third one is this. I I went to a Ted Lapidus shop in um, Bahamas. I was surprised to see a Ted Lapidus shop over there um, because I don't even know where that uh, bag um, is right now. I mean, I, I don't know where it is. And so when I went to the Bahamas, I saw a Ted Lapidus um, shop and I bought myself a wallet a long wallet and it was like uh, I bought it for like $98 with a discount already because it was originally like $150 
but they gave me like a 40 percent discount something but you know for a wallet it was still um, pretty expensive that was years and years ago for 40 15 years ago could be more than that like 17 years oh jeez. and this is my favorite of the lot look at that yes it has a zip compartment and then there's another compartment in front and you can for more security you can do this also oh and then and then the back they're all made in france ted lapidus handbags made in france so and there's an open pocket over here so it's um the bags are really really um amazing guys i'm telling you they're um it's just you can see that it's not going to um get damaged at all <laughs> so it's not as sensitive as the canvas of Louis Vuittons and um, any other luxury brands so uh, I suggest that um, they are very cheap you know online because they are not as popular as those brands however the quality is the same or not the same the quality is even better okay then um, I'm just comparing it I'm, a, I'm just um, in my own experience guys because you know i've i've owned different brands but still you know this one is just really tough <laughs> and really really i know what can i say if i see a ted lapidus bag it's just just you know it's like yummy <laughs> it's like chocolate to me okay so there you go guys uh, um yeah i do I do encourage you to buy these bags of vintage, especially vintage bags. They're just really, really good. Okay, there you go. Bye.